What's up everyone today I have a seven cent stock for you guys that I think you guys are really gonna like now you can see here esports entertainment or GMBL spells kind of gamble stock um, does is down 7% today we're not gonna get past that fact now there is reason for this and we will be talking about all of that in this video we're gonna be going over the technical analysis at the end of this video we're gonna be talking about what's happening with esports entertainment or gamble stock right now um, so if you guys want to hear all of that make sure you guys stick around until the end of the video leave a like and subscribe let's get into it so yeah Esports entertainment is down 7% or 1.3% in after hours. At one point in the pre-market, it was up to 10 cents and it was sitting um, up 26%. As soon as uh, we went live, people started to sell off and we eventually got all the way down into the red, which kind of sucks, but there is good news that came out on it. I think people were just taking profits. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video, uh, but over the past week, it's down about 16%, very volatile, um, down only 2% in the past month in the past three months down about 43 percent so there is some opportunity here so um i want to discuss a bunch of stuff about this but first we have to understand what the company or what the stock is before we invest in it i this is a principle i have always understand the background of whatever stock you're investing in uh, just because you don't know what's going to be happening with the stock there could be something extremely important happening tomorrow you would never know uh because you don't understand what's happening so always understand what's happening with your stock but anyways, Esports Entertainment Group um, operates as an online gambling platform. It offers bet exchange style wagering on esports events and licensed and regulated secure platforms to global esports audience. It operates through the following geographical segments, uh, Antigua, Malta, uh, I forget how to say this, and the United States, obviously. So um, the uh, company was founded in 2008 and is headquartered in Malta um, SU. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, founded in Malta in 2008 by Alex e Eagleman. And then here's the interesting stuff. It only, it only has a $5 million market cap. Now, what does this mean? This means that you do you, all you need is one person to get into this stock that has a lot of money and you are going to be printing cash now i'm not saying this is going to happen for sure and by the way this is not financial advice i'm not telling you to buy this stock uh do your own due diligence if you do want to buy a stock i'm just bringing it to your attention uh but a low market cap like this is very easily manipulated that's how it's able to go down so much um with just a little bit of money and how it's able to go up so much but there's a lot of upside to the stock so if you're a person who's looking for upside in a stock this is a pretty good place to look in terms of average volume we're sitting at about 66 million shares traded every day and the volume today was about 174 million shares uh, traded so three times almost three times the uh, amount of shares traded today so that means there's just a lot of volatility um, obviously a lot in pre-market uh, as it was one of the big gainers in the pre-market before selling off um, now I think this is a pretty interesting um, play going forward but I'll have to explain further a little bit later in the video first I want to mention guys you can join our discord uh, where we trade stock options and we give you guys our buy and sell alerts with the first link in the description if you guys are interested in those make sure that you guys um uh, just join with the first link in the description uh but, but yeah we're giving out away plays that are making people hundreds if not thousands of dollars so if you guys are interested in something like that then go ahead and make sure that you guys join our discord with that first link in the description uh but anyways let's get back into this video <clears throat> the reason that i am bringing this uh, stock up to you I pretty much solely bring up stocks to you guys um, from StockTwits. If you guys don't know, StockTwits is a place where you can check how much a stock is trending. And um, Gamble, or Esports Entertainment, was the number eight most active stock on StockTwits. Uh, so that's the reason I'm bringing you guys this stock. And it's just getting a lot of attention right now because of what's going on. And what's going on with esports? Uh, this is what we're going to be explaining. Uh, it's trending today after the company announced the sale of its iGaming business. The company also sold its Spanish gambling license and reduced its debt. Um, Gamble stock rallied 10% before pulling back this morning. It was actually up 26% pre-market. Uh, but yeah, um, it was a... Uh, the iGaming or online gaming uh, gambling, sorry, uh, niche market was red hot in 2020 and 2021, uh, but it's cooling off a bit now. So that's why it's down about 43% in the past uh, couple months. Uh, but they have actually been doing some really good things. Um, they entered into a share purchase agreement to sell Bethard, an operator of online casino and sports book uh, that is licensed in Malta and Sweden. So they tried to sell it. Um, Esports Entertainment expects to receive about 9.5 
9.5 million euros for its business. Uh, so they sold a bit of their business um, for 9.5 million euros, which is more than its current market cap. So that is extremely good when you're selling something for more than your market cap. Um, and uh, notably, Esports Entertainment previously disclosed it's shutting down its um, uh, another one of its business. Uh, so basically, it's just shutting down businesses, selling businesses in order to cover its debt and focus in on what is really good. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, it seems that financial traders are still assessing the news related to esports entertainment. Um, while Gamble was up 10% um, at the beginning of the day, it is now down about 7% at the time of me making this video. Uh, but they had a lot of debt. So uh, basically they've been selling a lot of stuff in order to reduce their debt load. Um, they reduced their debt um, in the past couple of months from 32 million to 15.5 million, um, which Every business that is on the stock market is going to have debt. Every business is pretty much going to have debt, uh, but it's just how well can you manage that debt? And it seems like they're managing it pretty well. And all of the moves that they've been making recently um, has led people to believe that they are doing the right things and that this stock has a path forward. Um, so that's why people are were happy this morning, uh, but some people might have wanted to take uh, profits and saw people continuing to sell and then everyone else started to sell as well. So that's kind of what happened this morning. But overall, the stock has the overall positive direction because they're taking uh, care of their debt situation um, and focusing in on what they're really good at. Now, in terms of technical analysis, <clears throat> We can see here um, it basically bottomed out at about seven cents um, and then this morning it got all the way up to 10 cents um, there was multiple times where we had this bull flag kind of consolidated throughout the day and then in the pre-market shot way up and then um, throughout the rest of the day it just was only down from there and now we're sitting at, at about seven uh, seven cents um, once again so I could definitely see a bit of a consolidation period over uh, and when starting Monday um, and then possibly seeing another sh uh, shot back up to the uh, 10 cent area so there's definitely anywhere from 15 to 30 percent um, gains opportunity over the next three or four days uh, trading days so make sure you guys uh, keep an eye on esports uh, gambling or gamble stock um, if you guys are interested not a financial advisor though not telling you just to buy this blindly uh, but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for today if you guys like the video leave a like and subscribe join our discord with the first link in the description I'll see you in the next one